So growth is natural. Plants grow, things grow. But in natural systems, there's usually some other higher order negative feedback loop or some sort of regulatory system that keeps the growth in check, that keeps the competition, and keeps the growth in sort of a, uh, a healthy space. And the problem is when you have unchecked growth, positive feedback cycles without any limiting system, that they can go out of, out of control. We have somehow, because of the Industrial Revolution and the way that we measure everything in financial value, and it's become a, 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 a growth has become an unchecked un uh, sort of positive feedback loop. And what we want to do is try to figure out how can we create some interventions where we can change the culture, where greed starts to feel disgusting, or more than enough is too much. This is uh, Andrew Fletcher. He was opposed to the uh, union of uh, Scotland and, and in Britain in, in 1707. And he has this great phrase, um, which is, let me make the songs of a nation, I care not who makes its laws. And I think this is kind of the sentiment that I'm starting to feel, which is, you know, we can go around and fiddle with the numbers, but fundamentally, unless we change the way we think, unless our kids feel disgusted when things are bigger than they should be, if thing, people are trying to be greedy, unless that becomes a natural cultural norm, I don't think we're going to be able to ultimately solve things. And the goal is a function of the paradigm, and the paradigm is really kind of a cultural thing. And we can say those things, and we can sort of aspire to them because we hear about them in religion and things like that, but we don't really, we haven't internalized it. So what is the story? What is the song? What is that um, thing that we can get from somebody in order for us to change that deeply? When you hear people sort of trying to fiddle with the parameters and not thinking about culture change and revolution, um, I think we need to destroy some of these older paradigms that we have to replace them with new ones, and we need to think at a very high level. So I think we need to stop fiddling around and have a revolution.